Over the Mojave, a whisper replaces the roar. NASA's X-59 slices through dawn skies, a supersonic jet that breaks the sound barrier without the boom. No thunder, no shattered windows, just a quiet revolution in motion. From secret labs to open skies, the future of flight has finally taken off. A new chapter in aviation history just roared, well, more like whispered, across the California desert. NASA's long-awaited X-59 supersonic jet has finally taken to the skies for its maiden flight, promising to make faster-than-sound travel quiet enough to be allowed over land. This futuristic aircraft, developed by Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works division, took off just after sunrise from Plant 42 in Palmdale, roughly 60 miles north of Los Angeles. As the sleek aircraft climbed sharply over the dusty fields east of the runway, it banked north toward Edwards Air Force Base, home to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center, where it completed its first flight safely after roughly an hour in the air. It was accompanied by a NASA chase plane, tracking every move of this historic test. This is no ordinary jet. The X-59 has been engineered to solve one of aviation's loudest problems, the sonic boom. Traditionally, when an aircraft breaks the sound barrier, it creates a thunderous, explosive noise that can shake homes and shatter windows. That's why supersonic flight over land has been banned for decades. But NASA's X-59 is rewriting that rulebook. Its long, needle-like nose and uniquely shaped fuselage are designed to transform that deafening boom into a soft, muffled, sonic thump. Something about as loud as slamming a car door. If the technology works as planned, it could revolutionize commercial air travel, paving the way for faster-than-sound passenger jets that fly quietly over cities without disturbing the peace. The first test flight, however, stayed below supersonic speeds, cruising at about 230 miles per hour or 370 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 12,000 feet. NASA says these early flights focus on safety checks, flight control systems, and basic aerodynamics before pushing toward full-speed tests in the coming months. Getting this aircraft from blueprints to blue skies has been an expensive mission. NASA has invested over $518 million since 2018 to bring the X-59 to life. But for the space agency, it's money well spent if it leads to the next era of quiet supersonic travel. The X-59 successfully completed its first flight this morning. It's a significant aviation milestone. At the controls for this historic flight was NASA's lead X-59 test pilot, Niels Larsen. Around 200 aerospace workers and their families gathered along a nearby highway, watching as the jet lifted off, a moment decades in the making. But there's another reason the X-59 is grabbing headlines this week. Beyond the runway, it's just been crowned the coolest thing made in California for 2025 a title awarded by the California Manufacturers and Technology Association, or CMTA. The annual contest celebrates innovation and craftsmanship across the Golden State, and this year's competition saw over 160 nominations and 200,000 votes from the public. CMTA praised the X-59 as a prime example of California's ability to dream big and engineer the future. The aerospace industry is a cornerstone of our state's economy. Companies like Lockheed Martin remind us that the future of flight, and so much more, is being built here in California. For the team behind the jet, the recognition is as rewarding as the flight itself. This recognition celebrates the groundbreaking technology and precision engineering behind the X-59, and the incredible dedication of our Palmdale team and partners. NASA hopes to start community overflight tests in 2026, flying the X-59 over select U.S. cities to measure how people on the ground react to its quiet sonic thump. If successful, the results could help lift the decades-old ban on supersonic flight over land. <laughs>